Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blocks Pile. On today's brand new video, these are the 10 craziest glitches in Roblox. You're gonna wanna stick to the end of this video. At number 10, we have the Adopt Me floating car. In Adopt Me, there is a glitch that can make you the proud owner of a floating car. Go to the tower, all the way up, take up the anti-gravity potion. Once you get to the top of the tower, go to the glowing orb. There is an invisible platform that you need to balance on. Once you get there, spawn a car and take a leap of faith. Literally, when the car is falling towards the ground, a glitch will happen that'll make the car float. Number 9 is the streets glitch. This glitch allows you to jump up walls. First, go to the wall you want to walk on and begin walking. Then press jump, a space, screen button, then turn your avatar 90 degrees by enabling shift lock or zooming in. This allows your character to walk up walls. It can take a bit of practice, but to do it is very useful. Be sure to try this out. Next up is the Mad City glitch. This is the house glitch. Find a house that isn't going to cost you any Robux. There are a few for zero dollars. Enter your home and press E really fast. The GUI will glitch on your screen, but don't exit out. Now click edit home and place a chair on the ceiling. I know it sounds odd, but trust me. Jump up and sit on the chair in the exit on the top of the house. Then jump down. You may be falling for a while, so be patient. Once you're on the land, rob any main heist. Keep in mind the GUI screen should still be visible. Once your robbery is finished, click the My Home button on the GUI screen. This will save you a ton of time with running away. This glitch will help you escape any situation. At number 7 we have Flee the Facility Glitch. This one is fairly easy. Go into the lobby and walk towards a corner. Once there, make sure you are all the way in the corner and rotate your camera into third person so you're looking down on yourself and glitch through the wall. You can do this in almost any location in the game. At number 6 we have the Fly Escape Glitch. In the game Jailbreak, you can escape by flying away. Go to the trampolines and crouch down as you're jumping on the trampoline. While you are jumping, punch as you hit the trampoline. As with any glitch, it'll take a few tries before you get it. But by doing this, you will bounce so high you will essentially be flung from the prison. At number 5 we have the Rose Citizen's Money Glitch. Get unlimited money. Go to the apartment and make your way to the top floor. Purchase an apartment for sale and buy a lot of fireplaces. The more fireplaces, the more money. Once they are placed in your apartment, leave the apartment. Now make your way to the house for sale plots. Find a sign and despawn your apartment in your phone app. Click the sign and click on the three lines in the top corner and then click reset character. Wait for 5 seconds and click on the house slot. If it says none and the house didn't spawn in, you did it right. Go to the apartments. Click the sell sign to claim the house. You can claim the fireplaces again. You can do this as much as you want, just don't click import apartment. Once you have all the fireplaces you want, right click and sell them and this will get you a ton of money. Number 4 is the phase through walls glitch. This glitch can be used in several games by going up to a wall and rotating the camera. This can take a few times to get down, but once you do, you will face through walls. It is great for escaping things or just getting somewhere faster. At number 3 we have the Prison Life Glitch. This one is one of the most useful is to use the Phase Walling Glitch. Face through the walls of the armory and acquire all the weapons you need. Number 2 is the Teleport Glitch. In the game work at a pizza place you can teleport. Now this only works on PC and it starts by making an account that begins with the word player. You can start out as any role. Next to the key on your keyboard that says number 1 is a squiggly line button, press that key once and it will make you teleport. And finally at number 1 is the Murder Mystery 2 glitch. You can glitch through the map of Murder Mystery 2. This can help you survive the game. You need to have a teddy bear from the shop. Go to the research facility and you will go to the right of the staircase. Spam the bear as fast as you can and use the Zena mode and you will go outside the map. It may take a few tries but this is a useful glitch to stay alive. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.